Hello everybody, I'm Jonathan, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to share with you the process that I did making this monkey, alright? And just to let you know that I'm, I'm building a community on my Patreon, so you guys can enjoy on there and receive my exercises, some tips and some assets as well, okay? So I really hope you guys will enjoy to watch these videos and the next ones will come soon as well, okay? See you on there. And now I'm starting here this character by doing the sketch stage and as you can notice here I am doing now the lines I'm applying some pressure of these lines to define these the character shapes all right and you guys use the sketch stage just to describe your idea here I am doing this character by my head and I really highly recommend you guys to practice sketching in order to create your stuff, okay? Because I'm doing here the character design by my head. And now let me explain what I'm gonna do here. I will decrease the opacity of this pixel layer that I did in the sketch in order to vector the shapes over this sketch, right? And as you can see here, I'm drawing the character shapes by using the vector uh, pencil tool, okay? And selecting here this both shape, I will add them together, alright? And to be honest, there is no secret about this stage. I'm just using the pencil tool and drawing the shapes as I see properly. And you guys can do almost the same if you feel comfortable to work in this way. And take advantage of this process. If you guys feel a little bit uh, locked by your creativity, take your time uh, to draw your stuffs. I know this can be a little bit difficult at the beginning or even for professionals and take a look on references and to take more ideas you know and back in here I'm doing the eyes I am applying here the insert side and just drag and drop this circle as you can see here I'm changing this color and you guys can repeat the same process it's quite easy to be honest of course uh, with more practice more get better and here you just need to insert some shapes for these lights just two shapes is enough and I've just selected here the vector tool as you can see here and draw this uh, character's face as you can see and you guys can grab the skin color as you see more properly right and the trick that I'm gonna apply here you guys can select all these points and select this match button at the panel below as you can see on there and you guys can take a time to adjust this face and if you are already familiar with my youtube channel you know that i've just speed up the the adjustments process okay and i like to show you the main uh, process to achieve a really nice result on here as you can see here i've just flipped the eyes and in order to to mirror you know and now i've just opened the layers panels in order to decrease the opacity of this sketch and you guys now can use the paint tool to draw these shadows behind of these eyes and here i'm taking time just to adjust the, the shape here and apply some saturation and here i'm applying the gaussian blur just to add a little bit of soft shadows and here i'm applying inside of these eyes the circle as you can see here and you guys can use the opacity all right and see these amazing results by trying to merge more more colors or add more shadows and the tip here that i'm gonna do i will select the the symbols of these eyes and as you can see i'm drawing the the nose hole and also the forehead shape as you can see here it's really nice because this is a monkey and you guys can take a look at some references in order to have more ideas about how you're gonna design your character okay and as you can notice i am focusing here in drawing the vector shapes over this uh, face you know and you guys can change anything in any time i am applying here more details more shadows and you guys can see here that i'm applying some details of course you can grab some references from the internet to see how the character that you are doing is look like okay and now i'm gonna open here this stroke panel and apply the width over this eyes shape as you can see here you can increase and decrease the curve and as you can see here i'm applying the inner shadow 
own this eyes and you guys can apply this in both eyes at the same time using the symbol tools okay and as you can see here i'm changing the character eyes as you can see i'm applying more orange with yellow you know and you guys can try to do something like this and i'm selecting here the head shape as you can see i'm using the fill tool you guys can just drag to adjust this uh, size you know and as you can see i'm applying the ellipsical mode with some shadows you guys can do the same as well and this is a really important step because i'm just selected the character face shape as you can see the forehead now and i'm applying the skin color and you guys can use the transparency tool just to match and blend this shape between the forehead and the face shape and you can also copy and paste the layers effects to another ears as well and now i'm going to start to apply the vector brush as you can see here i'm applying the light it's very important to know where you guys will apply these vector lines you know And if you guys are really beginner in this process about to make the shadings with light and shadows, you are invited to join me in my Patreon community where I am giving you some exercises and you guys can practice with me, okay? I really think you guys don't need to be afraid to try and experiment the blend mode because it's really amazing the way you guys can blend the colors as I'm doing here. And basically, if you guys are using the Affinity Designer on desktop, you guys can follow the same process. And for this particular project, I did this vector brush. As you can see here, it is a four texture. And in order to help you guys to follow this process, I will release this brush in my, in my Groom Road, okay? And also, I'm gonna release a full package for vector brush that use this kind of textures. Really amazing, okay? And also, I'm going to release in my Groom Road a new vector brush pack. It is made for textures, okay? And I'm using here the vector skin texture brushes, okay? This also will be free to download on my Groom Road. And now I'm going to apply here the Gaussian Blur over this face, as you can see here. And I'm just taking a time to adjust these curves. And you guys now can try to add more details over this face. As you can see here, I'm applying the transparency tool. To be honest, it's not very different from the other videos. And I'm applying here the inner shadow over this inside ear shape, as you can see here. And I'm going to select the vector brush for the fur and I will apply in this ear as well. I really enjoy to work with the vector brush because you guys can change these points, this curve in any time. You guys also can change the color as I'm doing here. And now I will just duplicate this ear and flip as you can see here, not a big deal. And I'm going to start here to apply more details in this character's body as you can see. And I will select the same vector brush to apply this first in this character's body. And I'm using here the pencil tool just to draw the shape for the skins, I mean for the hand, you know. And you guys can try to do the same for another hand. And to be honest, I don't like to use the pencil tool, as you already know, because you take a lot of time just to adjust these, these curves. As you can see here, we, you got a lot of points, annoying points uh, that you need to, to change, remove, and it's not very good, to be honest. And you guys can use the paint tool or whatever you guys feel comfortable to work with, okay? I just explain my opinion about this issue and you guys can start to add more details by using the vector brush I'm using here the color picker and I just grab the the color from the tail and I'm applying the shadows below of this head you know and I've just opened here the layer effects panel and you guys can use the inner glow as I'm doing here and I'm trying to discover which color can match better you know with the shadings that i'm applying here and remember that if you already did this one character shape okay you guys can use the copy and paste in order to save more time instead of applying each of these layer effects into these limbs all right 
And to talk a little bit about this character process, it took me around of 35 minutes to get this done in real time, you know. And sometimes I was thinking to to post this video in a real time, but I know that a lot of people don't watch these videos in a the full time, you know. They just quit and this is really annoying to us that make a lot of efforts to bring these contents to here. So since then I've started uh, my Patreon community where I share the real time videos. And now I will just select like the face and I will apply the inner shadows. As you can see here, this technique is really nice. And you guys can try this as well. And here at this panel below, you guys can apply more soft shadows as you can see. And I'm applying here the inner glow effects that I really enjoy to use. I'm using here the blend modes and just try to see how this will look like. And to be honest, for me, this character was really nice to work with because it took me more time than another ones that I did here in my YouTube channel. And I didn't think about which character I would do. I would just grab my pencil and and just draw and see what thing, which thing will come to my mind. So this is the reason that I really enjoy to work with this character, you know. So I really recommend you guys if you have this kind of uh, creative block in your head, just draw. All right, don't be, don't have the fear that control you while you want to draw all right i know you guys have a lot of inspiration in your instagram seeing other people but this is not very good at all if you just see people doing their arts and you do nothing this is not very healthy for your art improvement and here i'm just applying my nature package from my groom road you guys are invited to get your package on there and use your professional works and for your personal works and whatever you want i hope you guys will enjoy choose this package because it took me a really good time to make this content and of course for the simple things i will release for free don't worry about this and i really appreciate any people that support me on my patreon or even here on youtube channel all right so guys Thank you very much for watching this video until here and I will just play around here to see how this will look like in case I don't like so much but this is the result that I got. Thank you and see you in the next video.